welcome to episode 55 of our Family Travel Australia series. This week we hitch up the new van and trek west, 750 kilometres to Charleville, gateway to outback Queensland. We spend a great night at the Miles Showground and visit Roma's largest 100 year old bottle tree. Plus, we spend the afternoon soaking our worries away in the mineral rich waters of the Artesian Basin in Mitchell. And Paul shares one of his handiest RV tips to date. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and join us for all the adventure. There's Katie, get Hi. the shopping away, Jasper. Hi, I'm new... about to take some pictures. Good, our new cameraman. Very good. How cool is this spot? We're in Maryborough, behind me, Bunnings. Over there, Coles and Subway and Shopping Centre. Mac is Hungry Jacks, if that's your thing. Over in the far corner over there, you got Aldi. Look at this, setting a trend. Some other people doing the same thing. What is so good about this place is that it's basically this massive empty lot that you can just park your van up. It's a bit windy, sorry about that. There's always something you need at Bunnings, isn't there? As we say, go in for one, come out with five items. <laughs> But anyway, we love this spot. It's Maryborough. Um, if you've got a spot like this, where you could just pull up and access everything, drop, drop it in the comments so oh, that yeah. uh, you can share it with other fellow travelers. Give us a good tip. Do you ever feel you don't get out what you're putting in? down a little bit Jasper's asleep in the back and he is such a good sleeper in the car he's awesome Ripper. And particularly it, on a crazy bumpy road like the one oh, we're on yeah look we're in between uh, I guess sort of Mundabra and Chinchilla yeah is that right well the, yes the next town we're coming up to is Chinchilla someone is passing me so we're heading G'day, mate. west go west yeah and the road is rather rough around the edges. There are signs everywhere that says uh, rough. But the countryside is beautiful. The local people are beautiful. The wildlife is oh, abundant. Yeah, I've seen a couple of roos jump out in front of the car. Haven't been quick enough on the camera, but that's all right. Better not to hit them than try and film them. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> we had a great start. We, um, quick backstory. Katie and I fell in love at Australia Zoo. It's a true story. It is a true story. And uh, yeah, we met there many moons ago when we were young and carefree, dumb, fit. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and during our time there, we got to work with and meet Bob Irwin. And so we had a sneaky little revisit last night out with Bob and his beautiful wife Judy on their property. Gee, that was great. So good, so good to catch up yeah, and reconnect. spend time with such beautiful mm. people who are just passionate real. and Down real. To earth. Yeah, that's right. We had awesome. a lovely night. What was so good was the last time that mm. we had the pleasure of visiting Bob and Judy, I was pregnant with Jasper, so yeah. to be able to take him back um, and Jasper <laughs> knowing the stories. And Watching all the, Steve. the Steve videos, it was cool. I heard him just before we left. Go and ask Bob. So how do you catch a croc? Yeah. 
So cute. They had a good old yarn, good. didn't they, yeah. sitting around the fire pit? Left him to it. I just thought that's a <laughs> that's a pretty pretty special moment. Anyway. What an amazing way to start. <sighs> I feel like I actually feel like we're kicking off season three now. Yes. Which is bizarre because we're like two months into season three. But what an amazing <laughs> way to start our adventure west yeah. by catching up with Bob and Judy. Okay, so from their place mm out to Chinchilla. We had grand plans of going out to Mitchell, uh, a little further out, but as happens when you're traveling, things change all the time. Yeah. Got to be flexible. Uh, so we're going to, yeah, reduce our, our hours on the road today. We don't want to be in, uh, yeah, kangaroo hour, the golden hour. So we're going to make it to miles, miles. I think. Chinchilla or miles, depending. Yeah. Probably miles. Yeah before making our way then further on out to Charleville. Yeah, I'm excited about Charleville. Charleville's been on your list for oh, ages, hasn't since it? Since the start of this, I, I saw some uh, great content on telly about their observatory and the stars. And yeah, I mean, I'm sure there's plenty more even that they've got to offer out there anyway. So here we go, on the road. Awesome. The bumpy road. <laughs> It's, it's yeah. slow going, but so good yeah. to be hitched up again. And the van's towing well. It's um, It feels good. The Hilux always feels good. I mean, it's never missed a beat. So, yeah, good days, good driving conditions. Just take it easy. Beautiful. Come on, you can get him. Yes, yes. <laughs> Here I come. You guys are much faster than me. Ready? On your mark. Get set. Go! <laughs> hey, check this out guys. Look at that beautiful sunset over there, Jasper. Well, that was an amazing race all the way back to Highlight and Orange. I think you would do it next time. Over a hundred years old. How about that? And it takes like a hundred years to find it, didn't it? Might need some new signage. How cool is that? What do you think? Yeah, I think beautiful birds. I, I think uh, it's really unique, isn't it? You drive around Roma and you can see all the bottle trees all lining the streets. It's really beautiful. After 200 meters, turn right in the direction of Mitchell, then turn left. We don't belong here. I want more out of life. 
longer we stay here Our boots get stuck in the mud Let's pack up a life, baby And call it a night Cause the longer we stay here The harder the fight I said, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah Call it a start By leaving behind what's breaking our hearts I said, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah Follow the spark Ain't nothing but a Go, mate. Good. Good. All right. What a beautiful morning. It started off a little bit chilly. It's about 11 degrees this morning when we started off. Uh, but it's going to heat up to about 28 degrees. We're out here at Mitchell, a couple hundred kilometers east of Charleville, which will be our destination a little later today. And we're staying at the Major Mitchell Caravan Park. And it is a fabulous park. The owners are super friendly, which is great. They've got this really cool sculpture trail made out of all different bits of tin and metal and machinery. What do you think about the sculpture trail? Good. Yeah, this is lots of fun, wasn't it? Uh, and then uh, a large fire pit. They've got cabins, uh, drive-through sites, which is what we, we've actually ended up in. And then only three or four hundred meters across the river here is the artesian health and well-being springs and there's these two pools one's a cold pool and one's a hot pool that runs basically around 40 degrees celsius coming up a spring from the artesian basin we're on the northern end of the artesian basin here which is absolutely epic in size when you when you look at the basin uh, and this little town, it's just, I think, really excellent. It's uh, somewhere where we would have just driven straight past. Uh, so if you are heading out west Queensland, I, I think this is an absolute must for families to stop in. Uh, or even if you're not in, in a van or an RV, the cabins are, you know, perfectly fitted out. We ended actually our drive-through site in a an ensuite site because that's all they had left. They were absolutely fully booked last night. Anyway, wonderful place, Major Mitchell Caravan Park, located in Mitchell. What do you think? Pretty good? Good. Yes. I don't know which way to go. All right. I think we go this way. I think we go this way. Okay. Lead the way. Excellent, well done. Okay, pack up time, always fun. Wifey, Hello. pull the water through. Yeah. There you go. Saves me getting splashed, Katie having a laugh. Shirt's a bit loud for the outback. Might need to get another one. Uh, I thought I'd give you a tip that was given to me, uh, thanks to Max and the team at GoRV. I'm gonna put the details there below. It is Australia's leading digital e-magazine for RV lifestyle and living. Everything you want to know in there, and it is free. That's right, it's absolutely free to subscribe. Uh, go on there, check it out. We love it. We write a uh, monthly article for Go RV, just about our travels, our family experiences, where we're going, what we're doing, all that sort of jazz. Um, it's a, a free gig, I guess, that we do. It's a free magazine. We just love it. So um, you can also check out our articles in there. But yeah, getting back to it, I'm going to share with you what I do with my hose uh, because I was having problem 
basically finding that when I was getting to the other end, there was always a bit of water left in it and it was generally running in through the boot of the van and you know messing everything up, making everything dirty. Go RV, Max and his team gave me this tip. I think it's a winner. Here it is. Okay, so here we go. Everything is easy when you know how. All right, we've got the brass fitting that goes directly into the van and then one end of the hose that connects to that. We've got the fitting that goes onto the mains tap at the park that you're at and the other end of the tap. So once you've actually got your hose completely disconnected and wound up like this, ready to go, I was chucking this straight into the boot and basically was having problem with water then leaking out of the hose that hadn't quite come out. So really all you wanna do is if I can hold the camera some other way, let's try it. Here we go. I'm going to plug one end in, like so. Take this guy, the brass fitting, twist him in that end, like so. Then get the other end, plug that in there. And it is honestly as simple as that. I am going to get an extra fitting for my grey tank hose um, to do pretty well the same setup as this for that uh, because that is also another area that you can get some leakage into your front boot of your van. Pretty good. Thanks Max. Thanks Go RV. Just be you good back there? Good. Where are we, mate? Uh, out back Queensland. Yeah, yes. Sure I'll tell you, once you get out back Queensland, you are <laughs> literally out back for a long time. We are doing, I think, 420 yeah. kilometers today. Yeah, I think so. Big day it's driving. Pretty, it's a pretty big stint, yeah. Um, just with a couple of. Uh, we stops and a little bit of food, fuel, probably getting up towards six hours um, from Charleville yeah. to Bacaldin, Bacaldin, Bacaldin. How do you say it? I think it should be pronounced Bacaldine. There you go. If you Does know. Does that make sense? <laughs> I don't know. We don't know how to pronounce it. Oh my it. gosh. Bacaldin. Anyway. Bacaldine. I'm going for Bacaldin. Uh, I'm going for the Calden. So I think I remember that as a kid. Anyway, yeah. so I mean, you know, I don't know if it's rained out here. Oh God, ever? It, it is unbelievably dry. It's and really dry. Uh, one thing that, that that does reduce is possibly the amount of wildlife and roadkill. Yes. Because there's just not as much uh, because of the drought. This yeah. sort of never-ending drought. Yeah. Anyway. Um, Charleville, wow, we loved it, okay, but we said we're going to bring you experiences on Charleville, we're not actually going to do that because we are going to go back, um, with COVID still having some restrictions on admissions to different experiences yeah. in play uh, in, you know, many parts of Australia.
Australia, but certainly out back here. Um, the Bilbies was closed. Yeah, I think a little I bit think. to do with mate mating season as well yeah, I that's think right. it's pretty cool. they're in full breeding season with uh, the bilbies which is awesome um we couldn't go and see the cosmos the cosmos well. uh yeah. and we wanted to go to the flying doctors as well but we then we just thought well let's just relax have a minute out and we will come back and cover this properly so then past that there was uh tambo yeah which was a really lovely little, little town. town and I we grabbed some, town, some lunch there uh, but they have chook races, which I, I, you know, I don't know if it's uh, appropriate. I, I still want to see it. I'll check well, it out. our neighbours in Charleville told us <laughs> about the Tambo chook races. No chooks told. are harmed, and then all the money raised, or half the money raised, goes yeah. to your choice. No, it goes to the flying doctors of charity. Oh, it goes to flying doctors. Yeah. Oh, and then you get the other half. Yeah. Or they said the man that won it when they were there donated his winning ah, back to the Royal Flying Doctors. That is very cool. So I want to go see that. Um, Blackall and yeah, the just hot, Blackall. hot Springs Aquatic Pool and there's some amazing free campsites in between all these towns. So there's so much more mm. that we have literally, you know, stopped five, ten minutes driven through next place. Yeah. Uh, so we're feeling like now we're out here that we just need more time. And so, cheers mate. So we're going to come back. Yeah, for sure. Now listen, passing these road trucks, 53 metre length road it's trucks, insane. road trains, I should say, yeah. is incredible. Do you know what I've really loved out here? I mean, we've seen it in on many roads that we've travelled, yeah. but out here, I guess because it's new for us too, is the roadside trivia. So the big road signs oh, yeah, cool. that are scattered along the highway that give you, it's a trivia game and, and the aim is, you know, to beat fatigue uh, as well. Hey, here's Katie. the um, wetlands. Oh, yes. It, that that, you that, there you go. About. There's another gem. Lara Wetlands. It, I mean, it, it looks fantastic. It's 10 bucks a night. There's hot springs coming up from the Artesian Basin, cool pools. There's a wetlands. Awesome. And we're driving past it. Yeah. And we want to stop. Anyway. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the, um, the trivia, trivia the, is awesome. The reason why Kate thinks it's awesome is because so far she's got every <laughs> one right. So I'm not playing anymore. <laughs> Have your game. <laughs> Alright. Got a lot of these bumpy roads, huh? Here we come. Backladine. Barkledine. Barkledine. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please do like, subscribe and share our channel. And if you'd like more information on full-time RV travel and living, visit our website, thefeelgoodfamily.com.au. There you'll find loads of free resources, our weekly podcast, caravan cooking recipes, our monthly Go RV magazine articles, and much more. We look forward to seeing you next week. Take care of yourself and your family and happy trails. Right, okay. How is she going? Is she doing it right? Yeah, she's doing it right. That's how I prep for my bocce games. <laughs> <laughs> do you know, bocce is right? Katie's game. Exactly she told me if there was an did. Olympic sport for bocce, exactly what you did. she'd be there. Dad, she'd be representing exercise. Australia. Hey, Dad, the key's still in it. The key? Nah, might have run out of fuel, do you reckon? I think fuel's not its only problem. A Kimberley. Look at that. An Austin Kimberley. Wow. Imagine it when it was brand new. Uh huh. Yeah, it was very brand new a long, long time ago, <laughs> A very long time ago, mate. Get this guy. <laughs> I can get him.